Dr. Buzo, looking at a trend uh, in which, depending on which political party is in power, the, the strength or rather the weakness of institutions enables those institutions to lean in the direction of whoever is in power. I want to ask you a little bit about that because uh, if we look at, for example, how the ruling All Progressives Congress has responded uh, to the mace uh, theft saga, uh, we know that after uh, Senator Amor Gege was suspended, he was subsequently named to the Convention Planning Committee of the party. And I want to ask you, in, in view of that, we haven't seen any repercussion from that side. Is, is there a failure of those who hold sway in the country I to redress these issues? I don't understand what you mean by repercussion. Re repercussion he was suspended. People went to uh, talks went to the Senate. I hear they are investigating. Nobody has uh, linked that he was the one who sponsored the uh, uh, talks. If it was found out, like I said, what has happened? You know, <laughs> you. I, 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 I think I'm you guys should deeply reflect on this thing. No, let, 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 me, let me come in here. Let me, let me, what, uh, doctor, let me, minute, let me come in here. One, one moment, minute, One yeah. moment, doctor. If you look at it, it's not that there has been absolute proof, for example, mm. that uh, he, he brought the thugs in or that they belonged to him. The issue at hand was whether or not he would be able to enter the chamber and sit on the basis of what had happened. Because if, if indeed, it, as you said, Senate rules uh, give a timeline of 14 days, it was still within that period. So the question is, was that not uh, wrong on its own? The point is that what determines whether you are appointed to a convention committee is the organizational power. It's the party's estimation of what you can do to organize the convention. Even now that he says, so the, all these issues are, you will have more time to devote to the issues of the party. In any case, those are decisions of the party hierarchy. But the point I'm making is that for us to, you know what has happened? I think you should get my point. Mm. What has happened is despicable. But in order to prevent this from reoccurring, if you forget justice, if you go there fair play and you forget and you bring impunity, then, mark my word, it will happen again. But, you know, Dr. Ken Senator Ovi Omoagege, in all honesty, really dissociate himself from what we saw on national television. Can he? In all good conscience and in all honesty. Well, I think for me, it's left for the security agencies to determine. But he has dissociated. He said he has said he was not involved, that he went to uh, resume uh, work. The reason uh, we say so is because we saw this gentleman, we don't know if they're a gentleman now, considering the actions that they took in the National Assembly, come in in his company. They were virtually around him. He walked with them towards the Senate mace. That was not where he eventually sat down. Look at what we're seeing here. Those are those men. He's walking towards the front of the, uh, towards where the mace are. Some colleagues are looking at him very, and you know those men take the mace and then he turns away as if, oh, I don't know anything about them. But these people actually came in with him. Can he, in all honesty, dissociate himself from the visuals that we saw on national TV? That is the point. The point is, though, you, you see... Are people being honest? I mean, when we saw that statement by Senator Ovi Amagigi who said, oh, I don't have anything to do with them. I only came to resume. You know, can he, in all honesty, issue that kind of statement without us taking him to task on it? Well, he should be taken to task because of what the visuals we have seen. Yes. And in a normal society, the, the institutions will investigate and show clearly... Mm. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Well, we'll come back and, and, and investigate, I mean, and, and interrogate that particular statement if, if investigation is still needed to draw any links with that. But we'll come back in just a moment. Please stay with us.
Well, yes, we're still watching Sunrise Daily here on Channels Television. Dr. T.V. Buzo, who is the Executive Director, African Center for Leadership, Strategy and Development, and Mr. Emmanuel Izugu, still with us in the studio. Uh, gentlemen, just before we went on break, we we're trying to, you know, see whether in all good conscience, uh, Senator Ovi Omagege could say that he dissociates himself from the people who came to the National Assembly to forcefully take away the mace. What are your thoughts, Mr. Anene, on that? Is it, uh, well, I don't know where my uh, colleague here is driving at. He spoke about his sense of justice. What is his sense of justice? His senator was suspended, either right or wrong. And he defied the suspension. Is I'm they, coming, I'm coming. Yes. And he defied the suspension and came with people unidentified and walked straight to the maze. And he's telling us that he should be investigated. Has he been established? Which investigation do we need if we are serious? He went straight to the maze. Is that his usual way of walking into the hollow chambers? He should have walked to his feet. He led them to the maze, and they took the maze away. And he's telling us about the sense of justice. And if you go to court, he said he doesn't believe in judiciary. He doesn't believe in court. And growing up as a young man. He said growing up as a young man, he used to believe that if you go to court, you get justice. But as an elderly man, or another person now, I've you don't seen. believe in justice. That's what that. he said. Mm -mm. You can play it back. Now, now if you go to court, if you go to court, it's about facts. It's about evidence. If, we, if somebody allegedly slap you on your way, the judge is not there. The other party is not there. It, you, it, it will be your word against my word. It's proof. If it is civil case, it's proved you know, on the preponderance of evidence. If it is criminal case, it's proved beyond reasonable doubt. Then the senator, he, he, he said, was in the hollow chamber to say, there are thieves here. Does he lie in his mouth to say there are thieves here? He's only, that is why they asked him to apologize, and that is rightly so. Mm. Yeah, that's why they asked him to apologize. Let, let's quickly and take it. Let, so. let, let, me take now, you up, let me take you up on your comment. You've talked about whether rightly or wrongly. Yes. Shouldn't it matter that you know no, if somebody it is, is wrongly, suspended? If it is rightly or rightly. wrongly, it's yeah. only the court that will determine whether it was wrongly or rightly. Because we are a nation of laws, and we have judiciary to interpret our action or our inaction. But Mr. Anene, you are also, I mean, you're witness in this country Absolutely. to how the judiciary is also judiciary being be? used. I mean, it, people By know, who? people know that you, it takes forever. Until yeah. recently when there were electoral reforms, just a moment, until recently when there were electoral reforms and electoral matters got, uh, you know, sped up in, 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 the, in the judiciary, we, we saw how for a long time, governors who were not elected, members of National Assembly who were not elected, Absolutely. would have stayed the entire tenor before the rightful person is actually declared. No, no, in no, those no. kinds of instances, when we know just how slowly the wheels of justice grind, it's slowly isn't, but isn't surely. it provocative for somebody to do Absolutely. something that is wrong Absolutely. and then say, go to court? Yeah. You, see, you see, the people that found themselves in the National Assembly, they didn't declare themselves winner. It was INEC. Either right or wrong, declare them winner. And if you feel aggrieved, you go to court. You don't employ self help. That is my take. But don't, no, 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 you, the, the you, point that Mr. Uguza, and I'm sure that he will have the time to clarify his comments. The thing is, when you talk about rightly or wrongly, when those instances are many, doesn't it also Absolutely. encourage violence? I mean, we've seen violence in our elections, we see it, we see the desperation in many instances. Those kinds of scenarios, don't they paint? Uh, a mood, you know, that makes people want to resort to self-help when they know just how slow the process is going to be to get redressed. The, judiciary is the whipping child of this uh, democracy. It's only judiciary that has internal self-cleansing mechanism. Ask me why. If you hear a case as a judge, and after 90 days of the final written address, and he did not deliver judgment, you'll be sanctioned by NGC. And so many judges have been sanctioned. And even the Administration of Criminal Justice Act has provided everything and it's been implemented on daily basis. Now, if Mr. President refuses, neglect to send the name of Minister Nominee six months after, there was no consequence. If the National Assembly refuses or neglect to pass budget for six months, there's no consequence. But in judiciary, if we try it, it will be consequence. And people are still blackmailing black judiciary. That is not so. You, you is think it is you no think need of justice. Talking, talking about the wheels of justice grinding mm. slowly is, is but a blackmail of the judiciary. It is slowly but surely. Mm. 